much, bud. We must have had a pretty good fishing trip. All right, guys, my apologies on this. We got to be kind of quick. We're out here at the National Seashore. And we managed to get ourselves all set up, got some bait. We got the uh, pitch to the uh, 10 up here. We got rod holders out. And we are putting baits out and we are getting hit left and right. Now it's all small whiting, but I'm gonna use one of those small whiting as a bait to get sharks or reds or, you know, whatever's big enough out there to take a big bait like that. Whew. So anyway, I'm hoofing it here, guys. I'll be back to y'all in just a minute. We'll let you see what, uh, we'll let you guys check out what we're doing. All right, guys. We are going big time today. It has been about a month since we have caught a serious fish. We're out here at the beach. I got my parents with us. That's my dad and my mom. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Here's Rachel over here. She's baiting up some hooks. Wrangling mullet. Right? He's wrangling mullet. She's pulling in a bunch of whiting for me right now. She got me a couple for bait. And since it's been so long since we've caught ourselves a good fish, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm whipping out the big guns. I'm going to take one of these whiting that Rachel has, and we're going to put it on the forerod. Now, putting it on the forerod is one thing. That's all fine and dandy. You can do that any day of the week. The problem that we have had all summer long is that we have not been able to get that bait out far enough. So to combat that today, I've whipped out the old 7S from my high school days. This is a gift that Rachel got me in 2007, and I have surfed it all over the place. And this is how we are going to get our baits out there. I'm going to paddle that thing out as far as I can physically paddle it. We're probably going to go about halfway out to the forest sandbar. Whew. Whew. Let's do this. And what are you going to do with them? Make soup. You're going to catch a whole bunch of them and make soup? Yes, all over there. All over here? Yes. That's awesome. Coquinas. There you go. Coquinas. Oh, 
big ones out there. I don't know if we set the bite for that one where we have to get swing. Oh. 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 I guess we got to go here. Uh -huh. Sorry. No, no, I was going to pay that up. Sorry. I need Very validation. Gone. All right. Oh, I might have hooked up telling you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> chunk of bait my friends that is how you go big in South Texas now we're gonna get it out there and catch us some fish with an interesting quandary. You see, I have this big jackfish. I still got plenty of it left. I'm not exactly sure what to do with that. Let me know in the comments down below. Would you like to see me try and cook up the absolute worst tasting fish in the world? If so, leave us a comment down below. Let me know if we need to cook that guy up and let you guys see exactly how terrible those things taste. Rachel doesn't want to do it. She's being generous. Guys, really appreciate y'all watching these videos. Thank you very much, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. There you go. Let's see. Where's that beer? Where's that beer? Yeah, and they didn't do a chicken a... salad. They did that instead. I know there's a beer in here somewhere. Oh, there's a beer. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I got a drink out of here. Lighting hanging on it. 